If I was to ask you to think about drums, I imagine something like this would come to your mind. But what if I told you that drums, that sound could be made with just your voice? Would you believe me? Well, sit back. Check this out. This is a journey into sound. How about that, eh? If I'm being honest, before we go any further, I think I need to put something on. Right. Now, what you just watched there was something called beatboxing. It's when we make drum sounds with our voice. And to get started, it's actually not too complicated. All we need to do to get started is to count in what we call bars of four. Most music, especially what we call mainstream music, like your pop, hip hop, dance, all that sort of stuff that you hear on the radio a lot, okay, all uh, is played in bars of four. So when you're listening to tunes, you, you will be able to count it, you'll be able to hear it. So like a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, can you count along? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right, that's quite easy, isn't it? So let's move up a gear. This time, when we're counting in bars of four, on beat two, we're going to click our fingers. If you can't click, you could clap. That's fine. And on beat four, we're going to tap the ground. Tap. Or I guess you could tap your thigh if you're sitting or your table or wherever you are. Okay. So I'll give you a wee demo slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. You ready? Let's put this all together then, okay? I'll count you in. That means I'll give you a bar of four and then we start. So you don't you don't start right away. I'll count you in. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, that was a wee bit tricky. Just rewind the video, do it again. Sometimes it takes a couple of practices, but you should get there. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a double tap on beat four. So it's not looking like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sometimes we call it an and beat. That's how I describe it, at least in my class, to keep it simple. It's like one and two and three and four and. So we've got a tap on the four and a tap on the and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. But if that's too complicated, you can just count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Whatever way makes sense in your head. Honestly, I've taught music for years. I've been around music for years. People talk about music theory and there has to be a set way that we teach it. We have to use the right vocabulary and all these things. Music's something you feel. Okay, It's different to every single person, I believe. So whatever works for you, that's what you do. So I'll keep it like this for a moment, okay? But we'll go for it. Are you ready? I'll give you a count in again. One, two, three, and. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. 
one, two, three, and again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I know what you're thinking, right, okay, great, Mr. Minchin. When's the voice going to come to this? When are we going to do some drumming? We're going to do it now. So here is a basic drum kit. Now, drum kits can be huge. You can add as many cymbals and as many what, toms and drums and snares and things as you like. We are only going to look at three drums today. The bass drum, the snare drum, and the hi-hat. It's a cymbal. So let's start with the bass drum. Listen to it. What does it sound like to you? It's a low, thumpy sound. The bass drum is what you hear in so many uh, modern tunes these days, from Little Mix to Calvin Harris to, I don't know, whatever else. So when we're beatboxing, there's an easy way to make that bass drum sound. It's using the letter B. We can all say B. Give it a go. B, 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 B. Let's try saying it in a bar of four. If I count us in, we've got one two, three, and b, 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 one, two, keep it going, b, 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 b. Now, b, b, b doesn't sound very much like a bass drum, I agree. So what we're going to do is we're actually, we're going to keep the mouth shape, but we're going to take away the sound. I just want the very start of that b, and I want it to kind of pop out your mouth. So we go from B, make it shorter, B, make it even shorter, B, make it even shorter. B, 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 B. And if you can really pop your mouth, I'll close up on my mouth. B, 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 B. There you go. Now we start to have that bass drum sound. B, 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 B. So this time, if I count in from four, do you want to give it a go? We'll go one, two, three, and. Good. Keep it. three, four. And might feel a little bit like a goldfish after that. <laughs> so that was the bass drum, that big round one at the bottom with the white PP drums on it. Now we're going to look at the snare drum. The snare drum has a bit of a snap to it and it sometimes it holds the tune together. Watch this clip of Dante Taz Robertson, an amazing, amazing drummer, and see if you can listen out for when the snare comes in. power of a snare. It really, really punched through the music there, didn't it? And so to make that snare sound with our mouth, we use k. Can we say it in a rhythm? One, two, three, and k, 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 you go. One, two, three, four, k, 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 k. Now, similar to with the bass drum sound, what we want to do is we want to take away the actual sound of the word and just keep the mouth moving. So rather than k, we get k, k, not k, 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 k. So this time, you want to give it a go, we're only going to k on the two and the four. You ready? I'll give you a count in. One, two, three, and one, three. One, three, your turn. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And what we're going to do very quickly is we're going to add a bass drum sound in on the first beat. Start to put together a natural wee rhythm. So a sound like...
You ready? You give it a go. I'll give you a count in. We'll take it a wee bit slower. One, two, three, and... Now you might want to just pause the video, practice that. I'll just go and put a wee picture up for you. If you're happy with that though, and you're ready to go on, we're going to look at our final drum today. Well, it's not a drum, it's a cymbal. It's called the hi-hat. The hi-hat is a really short, tinny sound that counts the bars and the, uh, the bars, the beats and the music really. That one, two, three, four. Most modern music, you'll hear that throughout, especially in what we call trap music. Did you hear that t -t 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 sound going right the way through there? Listen if you can hear it in Little Mix's song here. Did you hear it go right the way through there? That ta -ta 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 -ta. Well, that was the hi-hat. And to make that hi-hat sound, we're going to use the letter T. T, 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 T. Now, just like with the bass drum and the snare drum, we're going to try to take out the actual sound of the T. T. We're just going to keep the mouth movement so it gets shorter. Ta, 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 ta. We just got that. Ta, 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 ta. You give it a try. Ta, 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 ta. I'll do four, you do four. So we'll try it counting again. We'll go one, two, three, and. Your turn. One, two, three, four. One, two. Very good. So quick fire test. Can you let me hear your bass drum sound? That b. What about the snare drum? And finally, that hi hat. So we've got b k t. So here we go. Here is a very basic drum pattern for beatboxing. It's b, t, k, t. But of course, taking away those sounds, it should sound a little bit like b, t, k, t, b, t, k, t. So I'm just going to count and I want you to give it a go. Let's see how we get on. You ready? I'll give you a bar in. One, two, three. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You could pause the video, you could give it a wee practice. Now, when you get good at that, obviously you can start to speed it up a bit. You could also start to add in double notes, what we call that two and thing there. So if we're going one, two, three, and. But it's really fun just to mess about with the sounds in uh, that bar of four and see what it sounds like. So I think it's a good idea to get yourself a piece of paper, pen, whatever uh, to write with. One, two, three, four, and you put the letters in whatever order you want. I could have k, k, t, b. Pause the video now before you come back to the final bit and see what you can come up with. Now, a good thing that you can do to extend this is to actually write out two bars of four. Gives you a little bit more variety, a little bit more freedom. So when we're counting in one, two, three, I could have... That's really it. Three basic sounds there. You can start to mess about with it.
whatever way you want. Play around, mess around with it. Just really focus on getting those sounds really cl crisp, sorry, and clear. Play around with that. Put on some of your favourite tunes. See if you can beatbox along to them. That would be great. Um, if you want a wee challenge, though, I'll leave you with this. It's called a lick. Okay? It's three hi-hats and then a snare drum. So, t t t k But you got to roll it all together so it fits in one and beat. It's hard to do. <laughs> there we go. So I'm doing my drums. Give it a go. See what you can come up with. If you could post some videos on Teamers or Twitter or whatever, I would be absolutely delighted. It would be amazing. Have fun. Keep practicing.